Brian, I want to teach you, I'm going to teach you guys how to stretch your quads in a better way that can help your speed, loosen up the front of your thighs, and a lot of people are making a mistake. Now, this stretch is something we use in Need for Speed, a four-week run form boot camp that helps you open your stride, break away from shuffling, shuffling, run faster, and run even splits, even when you're tired. Uh, if you're interested in checking out the full program, go to the link in this post or openmystride.com. You can check out the Need for Speed program that starts soon. Uh, either the price is going up or the program starts soon, so make sure you check it out. All right, so where do most people go wrong? Um, first of all, the quad is one, there's four quad muscles, meaning quad, and there's only one that you're really stretching, which is called your rectus femoris. It attaches to your pelvis, goes down and crosses the kneecap, and attaches to your shin. So it's a really long muscle. Now, the way that most people like to stretch this is they like to do this, and they like to really crank on their knee, or they like to grab their foot, they like to chase their foot around their head. And it's not a great way to stretch it for a couple of reasons. Because when you fully straight, especially for my older runners, um, when you fully bend this knee and you pull it towards your butt, you might feel that stretch, but you're putting a lot of compression to the knee. A lot of people don't like that full flexion on the knee, so there's actually a better way to do this. And when you do this stretch, it's really important because you need length from here to be able to open your stride to run faster. Too many runners can't open their stride and they're doing this little jig kind of dance. Yep, that's a jig. And they can't, they can't push off and travel when they're running. So try this stretch out. It's a great way to do it. It's one of my favorites for the, uh, the rectus femoris or the quad, however you want to talk about it. Um, what you're going to do is you need some place to put your foot up. So I'm in my home gym and I'm going to put my foot up on my treadmill um, from 1980. And uh, we're going to just I want to anchor my foot first, and you notice how I'm not sitting back under my foot. A lot of runners make this mistake. Instead, get away from it, get your foot up, and there's a couple things you want to do here. First, just check yourself before you wreck yourself, and put your knee underneath your hip. It's really easy to chicken wing this thing out to the side due to tightness. So tuck your knee underneath your hip, and what will happen is you want to make sure you take away compensations because when you're stretching something and you start pulling on it, if it's tight, it's going to try to find a compensation and work around it. So this is what most runners do. They either chicken wing it out to the side or when they get it underneath themselves, they arch their back a lot. So what I want you to do is called a pelvic tilt. You're going to just tilt backwards, tighten that cheek, and you'll probably already start to feel that through the quad. And that is a good starting point. Now, if you want more stretch, you can move away a little bit. Keep that knee underneath, tighten the butt, flatten your back, or do a pelvic tilt, and drive the same heel of your hand up in the air. That'll tie up your lat, your fascia, your abdominals, and really stabilize that pelvis, and you can do a little bit of a lower. Now, that little bit of a lower is going to give you the ability to lengthen your quad so that at push-off, you can get a nice, big, strong push-off off the backside. That's going to do a couple things. It's going to allow you to open your stride so you can run faster. It's going to allow you to maintain paces when you get tired because you're going to have the anatomy to allow yourself to open your stride. It's one thing to learn good run form, but if you have these anchors attached to you, tight hips, tight quads, tight hands, it's very difficult to run faster. It's very difficult to improve your form because they're pulling back on you. They're restricting you. They're preventing you or they're compensating, wasting energy, slowing you down, causing injury. So try this quad stretch out. You do both sides. 10 second hold to 20 second hold is great. After runs is better than before runs, and you'll start to see a good benefit. You'll start to feel that pull nicely in the quad, and then you don't have to do this thing where you chase your foot around the head. Uh, one of many stretches will teach you a need for speed. So if you want the full program, be sure to go to the link in this post or openmystride.com. Check it out. Program starts soon, or the price is going up, depending on when you watch this. And we only run this program once a year, so don't miss out on need for speed. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Try the stretch. Bye, guys.